It's not just credit cards. More and more Americans are getting denied for car loans and car leases. It started when the Federal Reserve began raising rates in March of 2022. The purpose was to slow inflation, but that basically also means lending restrictions are tightened. We saw that half of applicants have been denied for a loan or financial product that they've applied for since the Fed began raising interest rates in March 2022. And then we also saw that about one in five Americans also say here that their access to credit has gotten more difficult since the Fed began raising interest rates. Sarah Foster is with Bankrate. She says those denials are for all sorts of financial products, though credit card application denials top the list. But the increase in denials also involved mortgage applications. And here's why. A $500,000 home would be about 62% more expensive a month than it was when mortgage rates were at their record low in 2021. Foster says when financing costs rise that quickly, it ultimately requires borrowers have more income or documentation and a better credit history. I think this really underscores the importance of Americans taking steps right now to bolster their credit scores so they can not only get approved for the loan that they're applying for, but also get the best interest rate possible that the lender is offering. Foster says sometimes the better the credit score you have, that could make a difference between one or two percentage points worth of an interest rate. If you've been rejected, lenders do have to let you know why. Most of the time they give you that report within 10 business days of your rejection. Now, Foster says take a look at that report and see why you were denied. It could be something as simple as a mistake on your application. If it has something to do with your credit score, you can work to change it. But remember, bolstering your credit score, it's often easier said than done, and it's not a quick process. With this Watching Your Wallet, I'm Rachel DePampa.